What you are about to hear is the story of a downtown Ludington business. So we have, I'm going to bring on here, Phoebe and Nicole. Hi. Hello. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> So on the, we, you see our guests on the bottom right, on the bottom left of the screen is a fun game that they're going to share with us um, how to play today. But first, I want to I wanna hear a little bit about your, your business, which is Backstage Hobbies and Games. How did you guys remember when games? you started? Oh, right. Yeah. Knowing that little section in the old theater area. So it's all Nate's fault when... He opened that up with video games and board yeah. games and yeah. magic. This is before you were born. <laughs> it was a lot more than six years ago. Yep. Yeah. 14, I think, is going to be this uh, this July, the 7th. Yeah. And then now we expanded to Manistee. So we've been there now almost two years. So, yeah, it's fun stuff. Bill Freeman says backstage is the best. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, we've definitely expanded, starting with, you know, the board games or um, video games and then some Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, this and that. And then just with the community kind of listening in that, hey, we like some board games or, you know, kind of really listening to what the community wanted. And at the time, there really wasn't a lot of that going on. So we had tables to play the board games and then Dungeons and Dragons and more Magic and Poke. Just like I said, 14 years later, it's just crazy in the location we're at now and everything. It's just and there we go kids stuff oh yeah and we got kids I stuff now that. too yes all the puzzles nice melissa and doug games and yep fun stuff and i'm just waiting for that miss pac-man in the back to get fired up <laughs> <laughs> soon enough soon enough i see gallagher so though that one's fine I mean, you used to have the the game nights um is that like are you toying with the ideas of bringing those back this year or the so arcade machines the no, game. The, like the dungeons oh, and it's mostly depending on where things are at you know it's yeah we would do that every friday night i had both dnd magic the weekends i had pokemon and board games and some war dnd i just I, tuesday night so yeah we were pretty busy getting the players in and just you know but when everything happened we haven't been able to do anything since last march and it's been really weird <laughs> I bet. So, we definitely plan on doing it again when is the question well you'll have to keep us in the loop on that yeah I think oh yeah definitely <laughs> definitely go on facebook right now yeah we'll have our facebook page all updating on everything. awesome yeah so we've been um i keep an eye on the facebook page and that's how i discovered um the bees game and i i definitely want to get my hands on the song saga game oh, yeah. um and i thought what yes, have we great? talked about that i need to yeah. check that one out too <laughs> it would have been great to just have you guys on so you can show us a game so so we did <laughs> so and you're gonna have to help me with the pronunciation of this one because i'm horrible at that oh this one is called carcassonne yeah Car so, yeah, no, it's pretty crazy on the spelling and everything. But no, Carcassonne has been around forever. It's a two to five player game. Um, really easy to learn. Seven and up, you need to turn six, and she loves this game. So, cool. very rune esque. On the Show card. us a little bit about how you play this. Oh, uh, yeah. I speak earlier. Yeah. Awesome. I think Noah would love this game too. Yeah, well, and it's pretty much a big puzzle. You'll have all the different tiles. Uh, you start out with one on the board, oops, on the board, and then you keep drawing more tiles to then match them. Yeah. And then as you match them, you take meeples. Everybody has eight of these, and mm -hmm. you'll claim it. So that's what we were doing mm -hmm. here. So, like here, this one you were able to attach it to, and you take one of your meeples and say, "I want this road." So now nobody else can take that road, and you keep going, and then it comes to the point like where if it will end. I now ended that road, so I get one point for each tile. So, yes, Evie? Ah. And when you finish it, you get that point. Yep, so with here we have how many points? One, two, three. All right, so and then here's then the scoreboard. You go one, two, three. Yep, and then you keep playing until the tiles are gone, and then whoever has the most points wins. So, yeah. yep, so let's go ahead and... So it's a great uh, well, counting game, a great matching game. Oh, exactly. All right. So, Evie, we'll go ahead and do a quick turn. Here's a tile for you. Where do you want to put it? 
I'm so <laughs> And so you can put it anywhere as long as it matches. So show the tile. What tile do you have? Oh, so you have oh, yeah, a road here and then here. So it has to match. Yeah. I'll put it right here. Yep. Because she claimed this, this is part of the city now. She's adding on to the city. Mm -hmm. And then when this finishes up like the road, when it mm -hmm. ends, she gets two points for each yeah. tile of the city. Oh, it's a paper. I get a lot of points and go to the point. Yep. So one point for a road tile and two points for it. A... Yep. So yeah, it's yeah. really fun. And there's a lot of different awesome. uh, routes you can go. You can kind of take over somebody else's by cutting them off so they can't keep getting more points or mm -hmm. cutting off their city so they can't keep growing it. But what I like about this is yeah. it's more focused on what you can do in building. So it's not, I'm totally going to kick your butt. It's how I can really strategize this and get more points. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Evie, Evie seemed pretty, pretty upset <laughs> on getting her city and getting those points. And oh, yeah. I don't like it. Yep. You she like loves it? this. All yeah. right, that's awesome. Yeah, she actually yeah, helped kind of see this the game to feature today. So, but yeah, yeah, it only takes like I said, half hour, thirty five minutes. It's um, five players, which is nice. Uh, and then there's also expansions. Or it can be four. Yeah, or four players. Or three or two. Yeah. No, perfect four. for families two. of all sizes. Right. I love yep. the way it does three. Four <laughs> and five, or maybe six. Yep. Yeah. So, but no, it's uh. Like I said, definitely strategy. Um, there's expansions. So, and what's nice is it's always miscellaneous. You don't know what tiles you're gonna draw. Um, and the expansions gives you like flying, uh, water. So just things like that. The land, the yep. land is the normal one. Right? Yep. And Did you have lava? Did you like lava? Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, no, she was saying the uh, the regular land is the regular one. Oh, yeah. regular. that would be pretty crazy though. Trying to avoid the lava, you know. <laughs> yeah, lava. Yep, yep. So, well, thanks for showing us the game, guys. Is there anything else that you want to show us today? Like maybe a box or a highlight while you're you're hanging out there? Or was that the? Yeah, a box. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if. I think Amy works to get us She comes back and yeah, Evie, Evie. Fun, right? Go grab one of your favorite games. <laughs> so I oh, noticed too this week we're celebrating National Mario Day. So I thought that would be a perfect day to come down to, to backstage to get some Mario <laughs> video games, right? It's a big game. I wanted to show oh, the yeah. actual board. Yeah. The actual box. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And to spell it. You guys, C A R C A S S O N N E. Yeah. <laughs> that's a hard one to spell. Yes, it yeah. is. That's what I love about <laughs> the board games, though. You'll have such a variety yeah. and. And that's how you spell Yes. Yeah. Teaching and the spelling <laughs> and puzzling and. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Awesome. Yeah. So, anybody that's watching that hasn't been uh, downtown to backstage, you should definitely stop in. There are so right. many types of board games for all ages, um, video games. Noah's loving his racing games we picked up. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> well, it's fun to have the video games from, you know, in television. And actually, I might have one. I'm, I I got it in television, and I'm going to have to play test and see if that works. But Yes, and all, so all the old, like, vintage and, and yeah. past game systems that come in use that yep. um, we love those, too. So. Yep, yep. Yes, Evie? Are you ready to play? Oh, no. <laughs> well, we only have so much time. They, they need to come down and buy the game so they can go play, right? Then you can you can show them where it is when they get there. How's okay. that? Show them how to play. <laughs> So they'll come visit. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, right, no. well, thanks for showing us the game, guys, and uh, telling us a little You're bit. You're welcome. <laughs> thanks again. Yep. Bye. Hey, bye. Bye. bye.